Sorry guys, this is part two because my video had cut out. Um, so I was talking about the wax paper. So I will get some wax paper. Um, this is just normal paper because I don't have it in front of me. But I will get some waxed paper and my um, tester. I will actually take it out, not wipe any off, but I will take it out, um, out and sort of put it on my paper three times. So one, back in, two, back in, three, and that's it. And then I have my testing applicators so that they can just kind of toss them out afterwards, um, one for each person. So then they will take this, um, go to a mirror. Um, I usually have a small one on the table and um, it just so happens that in my dining room I have a large um, mirror also, which could probably, if three people sit, uh, stand side by side, they can um, put it on. And I have a, 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 um, a mirror in the bathroom too. So lots of mirrors. So they take their test um, applicator. Um, I will stop to explain it one more time. So I'll say, okay, so everybody has their wax uh, paper, their test applicator. Now a friendly reminder that you just have to put in your applicator in, um, hold your lips apart, and um, apply a thin layer once on the bottom, once on the top, so it will not look even yet because this is the thin layer. Wait about five seconds. It's normal for the lips to feel sticky, but keep the lips apart. Wait about five seconds. Um, uh, take some more. Another thin layer. Wait a good five seconds, lips apart. Take your last layer, and there might even be some color on the wand also. Take the list of heart, of high, a thin layer, wait five seconds, and then I have um, gloss um, sample packets which I did order um, off of the Cinegens, um website. I will give each person that and a uh, Q-tip. They could use the applicator too, actually. But um, I just give them a Q-tip and I tell them to um, take the gloss um, packet, open it up, um, take the Q-tip and just kind of rub everything together so that the lips feel nice again. And then they will always say like, oh wow, that is amazing. And then they all start doing this and it doesn't come off. Um, but I should mention, which I think I forgot, um, before I have them put on the color, I put some witch hazel on a cotton pad and I just sort of have them wipe their lips first because that helps to take away any um, old lipstick, um, lip balm, um, any oils from like food, from coffee, tea, you know, anything. So that that way their lips are completely clean and dry because if they're not and they apply the color, it's not going to set properly. And then they will say, oh, I don't like this. And that's not the point, right? You want to show them that it's amazing. So I do that and then um, you, usually they all start just kind of talking to one another saying like, oh wow, like look at this, isn't that amazing? Oh, well what color uh, do you have? You know, it's a lot of fun. Now I do only let them try on one color because as you all know, it, it, um, it likes to bond to the lips. So if they're trying on multiple colors, you would have to use the witch hazel, you know, put it on, witch hazel, put it on. So like that's a lot and that's probably hurting your lips a little bit too. You just shouldn't be wiping them that much. So I do say you can only try. Well, I don't say it in that way, but I will say you all get one color to pick from. Um, here's all of the colors on my hand. Um, I think I have maybe... I don't know, six in stock now. So like I will put all six colors there um, to show them first and say like, which color would you like? Because there are a lot of people that say, well, I want a pink. Oh, but that's a dark pink. Oh, but that's a light pink. I think I'll try the dark one. Or um, I just want something like as neutral as possible. Oh, well that one's neutral, but that one's more neutral. So I think I'll try that one, you know, or well, that's a neutral pink, but that's a neutral brown. Hmm, maybe I'll try something a little, a little bit different. I'll do a brown instead of a pink, you know? So it's nice to have it on their hands. So then that way they aren't tempted to like open up the testers, put it on their hand, and then you're like, okay, wait, stop, you know? So also a little tip, don't have the testers out. Um, well, you can if you want, but I find that let's say you have the testers out and the products out that you want them to purchase, 
they don't know which are the testers and which are the, are the products. So they will just start opening. And that happened to me at my first party because I didn't know. Um, I had customers open, um, opening up the actual product and then they would come up to me and say, um, I don't think I was supposed to open this because there is a seal on it. Can I use it as a tester? And I would go, oh my God, no, let me take that from you and try to sell it later. I don't know how I'm going to do that because now the seal's broken. So I probably have to keep it for myself, which is awesome. That's fine. But you want to make money, right? So I would just kind of take it from them and say, that's okay. Try the tester. But also I find that if you have the testers out for customers, they start opening them. They start doing, oh, sorry. They start kind of putting it on. They start putting it all over their hands and that's a waste of product. So yes, I do have them out but kind of like out of the customer's reach or I'll sort of have them like behind me. And then as I'm explaining the products, I'll sort of say, um, and you can all try a tester, you know, in about 10 minutes. So I will show you all um, the different colors or I'll, you know, have them in my hands to show them. I let them pick a color and then I sort of handle the tester and the wax paper because it's not their fault, they're excited, right? But I find if you say to them like, okay, don't touch anything, they'll be like, okay, I'm not a child, you know, like why are you telling me not to touch anything? Or they might go, oh, so you don't want me to touch anything. Okay, geez, okay, sorry. So I just don't even say that. I just keep them out of reach necessarily. But then afterwards, I will show them like another cup and say, and these are all of the amazing colors that you can actually take home with you today. So have a look. Um, and you know, those who buy two colors, save on tax, or you know, I'll just think of something. Um, I'm trying to think of the discount that I offered at my first party. I think I actually did where all um, first time customers who ordered a starter package, so um, a gloss, a color, and an oops remover didn't have to pay tax. Yes, I'm you know paying for that, but I had ordered everything at a fifth, um, a 50% discount. So, because I had ordered a lot, right? So am I losing money? No, it's just I'm not making as much as I could have been. But I know those first time customers, as soon as they try a color, they will be hooked and get more from me. And you want to sell those starter collections because they need a color, a gloss, and an oops remover as a first time customer, right? So, okay, so after um, the testers, I may um, answer some more questions. I will see if anybody has any more questions. Um, I will go up to every single person and say like, oh wow, like that looks amazing. You know, have you tried this um, pink? You would look amazing in something slightly darker or, oh my God, like, like that looks amazing on you. You, you like need that. I have three in stock. If you want it, here you go, you know? So I will like actually talk to every single person. Um, if I have a customer who says like, you know what, I don't really like this color. I'll say, hey, you know what? It does look nice, but I feel you would look better in a pink, you know? So if you don't like it, you know, you can take it off and try another color. But you know, I don't always like doing that because then other people may say, oh, well, I don't really like mine either. Can I try another one? Or they might say, oh, well, I like mine, but can I try another one? But you don't want them, you know, wasting your product either, right? So I will, I will only do that if they, you know, say like, oh my God, like I don't like this color at all, which actually hasn't happened. But, you know, just thinking, right? It could happen. But I guess just the main thing is you don't want to waste your product. So if they don't like the color, um, it might have been because you didn't show them all of the colors first. So they were like, I don't know what color I want. I'll pick this one, you know. So it's a good idea to show them all of the colors first and always put on your lip sets. At a party, I always, always wear either a bright, um, a bright red or a bright pink so that they can see it doesn't come off. So that's just something that I like to do. And I will always sell always the color that I'm wearing. Every single person or, you know, a lot say like, oh, wow, like that's a really nice color. Um, I kind of want the red. What color are you wearing? And I don't usually wear color, but what color is that? You know, so it does help. Um, or if, if you have a lot of a certain color that you want to sell, wear it. Okay. That will help you sell it. 
Um, okay, so I hope that helped. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, so after the testers, um, people usually start talking. Um, I like to, you know, go up to every single person with my iPad um, and say, like, I can order, um, put in your order through now. Would you like to pay by um, Visa, MasterCard, email money, tr uh, transfer, PayPal? Like, I do give them a lot of options. Um, for a credit card, though, I do charge them an extra $2, I think it is. So be because I do prefer the email money transfer or PayPal. Um, well, actually, I prefer the email money transfer because it's no fee for me. But a lot say, well, there's a fee for me, so I don't want to pay the email money transfer. I'll do PayPal. And that's okay, too. So I just sort of um, offer the customers what's easiest for them because I want them to order, right? Um, and then hopefully they, they order what's in stock. So then you can say, okay, you guys, here you go. And then that's it, easy. Um, but if they want some colors that you're selling that you don't have in, in stock, that's okay. Say, well, you know what? I will order that for you right now. I will let you know as soon as it comes in and then I'll be happy to come on over to um, deliver the product to you. And I love that because if you go over to their house, um, you could even bring all of the other colors again and say to them, hey, well, since I'm here, is there another color you would like to try? These are all of the ones that I have in stock. So then if they try another color that they love, you might make another sale when you go to their house. So, so you know, either or. It's nice to sell items in stock, obviously, because you paid for them. But also, hey, they may love a color you don't have in stock and you don't want to say, oh, well, I don't have that in stock and it's going to take me like two weeks to get. So how about you pick one of these ones? No, they're not going to want that, right? But your stock will sell because they like to see it, try it and take it home. So it does sell. So, okay, I think that's it. So I did say that my parties usually last about two to three hours. It can be as quick as, you know, easy, as long as you want. Um, I do provide... Uh, provide a little bit of snacks. Um, I always ask them if they have any questions, but that's it. So I keep it simple. So if you guys have any questions for me though, just let me know and I will see you guys in the next video and good luck.